My name is John Preston. I'm a professor here at SPSU. I'm the coordinator for the Computer Game Design and Development Bachelor of Science degree and also the Center for Applied Gaming here at SPSU. How many years have you worked in the gaming industry? Well, I've been here at SPSU for now. This is my sixth year. And then prior to that, I have been in teaching and working in software development, doing independent contract work. So I guess full-time I've been a professor and teaching in higher education, but then doing side projects. And for a short time, I also worked for a small mobile game company startup. What's your favorite or least favorite aspect about the industry? I guess the most favorite would be the creativity, the fact that you've really got a way of applying computing in a really interesting way and people are very engaged with games, just about everybody likes to play them. Yeah. So not as many people are into databases or into network <laughs> uh, setup, although those are important, but people can really relate to gaming fairly easily. So that's, that's really fun, so mm -hmm. there's a nice creative fun side to it. And then probably the downside of it would be that the work comes in peaks and valleys. So it depends upon the project that you're working on, but there's a quality of life or a standard of life issue during crunch time when you've got a title that you've got to release. You've really got to put a lot of time into it to make sure that you hit deadlines. So. Yeah, crunch time. Yeah, that's, that's probably true for a lot of software projects, but gaming in general, you've got very specific deadlines that have to be hit before uh, you, know, you release at certain times of the year to make sure that the game is profitable. Awesome. Any current trends you've taken an interest in in the gaming industry? Sure, I think mobile is huge. The traditional console or uh, high-end PC game is still there, but you've got a lot of people that are playing on Facebook or other social media spaces, and then a lot of phone-based games. People are really busy, mm -hmm. and one of the interesting trends in gaming is now, not only do we have millions of these devices that are out there, but if I've only got a few minutes, I can turn on my phone or I can turn on my my tablet and I can play a quick game and I can have a really interesting experience. Yeah. The funding of that is really different so we expect games to be either free or almost free and then finding an interesting way to monetize that and do micropayments, getting people to connect and using ad revenue, different ways of kind of paying the bills. So that's an yeah. interesting new trend in gaming. <laughs> and do you have any advice for those starting out in the industry? Well, sure, study. <laughs> Do well in your classes, your math and your science is really important. So it's more than just having an idea because everyone has an idea, but you've got to be able to put that onto paper if you're making a board-based yeah. game, or you've got to be able to put that into the computer and make it do what you're looking to do if you want to be successful. So do well in your classes, but then beyond that, connect with student groups. We've got some good student clubs here that are involved in game development. And then engage in activities like our global game jam and our game jams that we do. Oh yeah, that is coming up soon, isn't it? It is. It's next weekend, so oh. we've already got almost 300 people registered oh, for nice. it. It's going to be a huge event, sponsored by the CDC and Games for Health Project. So I have one last question time. for you. Um, sure. What's your favorite game? Um, I guess it's changed over time. Yeah. Old school, I, I grew up in the 80s on old school RPGs, so I'll go back to my roots and say Ultima, <laughs> the Ultima series. But most recently, I've enjoyed playing games with my kids. And going through RPGs, we played Nino Kuni recently, oh, earlier nice. this year. Yeah. It's a really great game. And just picked up the Kingdom Hearts Remix yesterday, so I'm looking forward to playing that with <laughs> Well, it's nice meeting you. Thank yes. you for this interview. My pleasure. <laughs>